Native of the New Orleans area, graduate of West Jefferson, outstanding receiver at Tulane University. Graduated in the 1972, was inducted into the Tulane Hall of Fame for athletics in 2000. He served as the color analyst on Tulane radio broadcast for 33 years now. Tulane will host Connecticut Saturday, 3 p.m. homecoming at Gilman Stadium. Please give a warm bread to New Orleans Sports Foundation quarterback club. Welcome to our friend Steve Barrios of Tulane. Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. This is a, going to be a tough act to follow, okay? I've been known Coach Monica for years, and as he said, he was at Tulane for 13 years while I was, I was there. He's certainly a class person, a class act, and a great coach. Uh, I'm going to be like the uh, chicken on the interstate, okay? I'm going to lay it fast, and I'm going to lay it on a line. Right? <laughs> so uh, Tulane's not having the best year that we thought we were going to have, but uh, we've run into a really tough schedule. We played at the time uh, Temple, Navy, Houston, and Memphis that were all undefeated at the time we played them. All have, uh, especially uh, Navy, Houston, and uh, Memphis, outstanding quarterbacks. Uh, the Navy quarterback last week tied the NCAA rushing record for career touchdowns and uh, he just needs one more to become the sole NCAA leader in that division or in that area. Last week we faced a guy named Paxton Lynch, 6'7". This guy was incredible. Uh, he's uh, thrown for over 2,400 yards, uh, 18 touchdowns. He's completed 77% of his passes. So, uh, and then we played Greg Ward from Houston Another guy that's in the top 10 as far as quarterbacks are concerned in the NCAA rankings. But uh, I think one of the things that uh, has been our downfall this year is that our defense has really played, I think, well enough to, to win some of those games, especially the, the Navy game and even last week. But uh, unfortunately, offensively, we've, we've had some injury problems. Cantalee's been out for a couple of games. We've really missed him tremendously. Uh, we started a uh, fifth-year uh, redshirt senior who was a walk-on from New Iberia, uh, Jordan Joseph, and uh, came in, did a great job. And our game plan was really worked to perfection. Our game plan was to keep Memphis off the field, and our first drive uh, went 17 plays. It used up 11 minutes and 13 seconds, and we scored a touchdown. Unfortunately, we did miss the extra point, but it was worked to perfection, and then we come back and we, we score again, so we're up 13 nothing. And then Memphis, uh, which is the uh, one of the highest scoring offenses in the, in the nation, just get everything into gear, and from then it was just kind of downhill. But uh, I'm very optimistic about the rest of the season. I think that we, we do have a legitimate chance to, uh, you know, possibly win out. We have UConn coming home this week, then we go to Army which uh, will be the uh, third or fourth uh, triple option team we face this year. And then, of course, we have uh, SMU in Tulsa. So I think all those games are, are winnable. And uh, like I say, it's just been unfortunate that we've hit some of the best teams in, uh, in the American Conference. In fact, there's only, I believe, nine undefeated teams left in the uh, FBS. Uh, rankings and two of them are from the American Conference, that being Memphis and Houston. So it, it has been kind of a gauntlet season that we've, we've kind of gone through, but I am looking forward to the, the last half of the season and I think that each game is winnable. It's just going to be a matter of health and, and getting uh, Tannelly back to uh, the quarterback. Us. Any questions? Raise your hand, we'll get the microphone to you. Any answers? <laughs> yes, the, uh, speaking of Tanner Lee, how's he doing? And, and is his ability, which is which is outstanding, does the offense and, and T. Bob may, may be able to talk about this? I mean, you can have great skill players, but if you don't have those those horses in front of you, and, I, and I'm not talking about every every young man that's a lineman in two lane, but like LSU, they have 10 quality NFL-type linemen, 
five of them play. Two I may have two. And in Division One, what how do you address that? Do you have to go out of state, like to Atlanta, Georgia, like a T Bob or Pennsylvania? I mean, are we just too small or too too light down here? I don't know. And thank you. Well, it is, it is a, a question of recruiting, and, and of course, I think that's going to be an area that's got to be addressed because you can have the best quarterback in the world, but if he's not getting enough time to sit back there and uh, throw the football, uh, you know, he's, he's not going to look very good or be very good. So, uh, yeah, the line issue is something that needs to be addressed. We have had some injuries on a line that had to be reshuffled. So hopefully that is one of the concerns that uh, you know Coach Johnson and the staff are going to address in this recruiting season. Anyone else? Okay, thank you very much.